Welcome to another episode of Evernote, Learning the Basics. My name is Jerry Colbert, and I'm going to be showing you how in this episode, you can utilize attachments for your notes. Coming up next. So here we are inside Evernote for Mac, and I'm going to be showing you how you can utilize attachments in your notes for many, many things. Now, for me, what I typically do is I am completely paperless. I don't have a filing cabinet at home. I don't have uh, just stacks and stacks of papers laying around. What I typically do is I scan everything into Evernote. And so that means everything. And even statements that I download from online from uh, the bank or what have you, I go and I put all of that PDF files in Evernote and I put them in individual notes. So what I mean by that is if you see here, I have Evernote opened up and I have this note that I created uh, for my last episode, if you watch that. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to get a attachment inside of Evernote. So as you see here, I have Dropbox opened up here. And all I need to do in order to get a note to have an attachment is to what? Well, all I have to do is just drag said note into there. So now as you see, I have gone ahead and entered that note into this note, or at least this PDF into this note. Now, if you notice in this note, it has PDF and everything. So it's just an attachment that shows you what the attachment is inside of this note. Now, if you click off here and you go back to, uh, back to this in inbox, it's still there. So it gives you a kind of a view of the note inside of this. Now, another cool thing is, let's say for instance, I wanted to um, annotate this note. I can, if I ever had any desire to, but to be honest with you, I don't use the annotate button that often, but some people do. Also, if you notice on the note itself, it has the annotation button as well here. You also have a quick look, so if you quick click on that, it gives you a kind of a quick look of it in a blown up format here. Also, this button right here is, let's say you've created this note here, and uh, one day you need to get to this note, and so, but you need to maybe uh, work on that note, or maybe email that note, or do whatever with that note, but you don't want to do it inside of Evernote then you can click on this button and this will save as whatever it is you want to save it as into your computer, wherever that might be. Maybe you want to save that in Dropbox or what have you. Also, just so you know, you can also right click on the actual PDF here and you can open it with whatever program you want to open it with. You can rename the attachment if you so desire and so forth and so forth. But Another cool thing about Evernote here is, is that I can, let's say for instance, I wanted to, maybe I wanted to search for this note and it was, you know, way down in the pile of weeds here. Well, this is a searchable PDF. Uh, when I scanned it in, I made it searchable, which we'll go over in um, other episodes. But if you see here, when you type in certain things that are inside this note, it picks them out. Look at that. So it knows what I am saying. And so we'll bring that note to the top of the list over here based upon what I have typed into the search field. So like I say, that is how you get notes in here. Now you can also bring in audio files. You can bring in um, pretty much anything. Anything that you want to save on that note, you can bring inside of Evernote. So there you go. That's how you go ahead and attach 
attachments inside of a note. And also, just so you know here, you can also type stuff, blah, 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 inside of this, um, inside of this PDF and kind of, um, you know, get it down. So maybe you want to say, this is about printing, print release. So you can go ahead and type that in there like that. You can also change the, the node itself, put print release or what have you. So, so you can also type in here as well as have the attachment inside of here. As you see here in another note I have here, a lot of times when I scan these in, I scan them in, I just let it be with uh, this um, date scheme that the scanner puts in here. Um, a lot of times I utilize Evernote for my digital file cabinet. As you see here, I have file cabinet written down here. And I use Evernote for that digital file cabinet. So I just import all of my PDFs into one document and I can find it later and I use a tagging system uh, to do so. I also do the same thing with receipts. When I scan receipts in they go as in a PDF or what have you and voila. I scan in all my manuals for whatever I have. I scan all of those in there. So like I say attachments are very handy if you want to create a digital filing system and you want to get rid of your real world filing system. So with that said, I want to say thank you for watching this video on learning the basics. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos. And so without further ado, I wish you a great day and let's be more productive. Thank you.